Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to look at something I've had sitting in a corner for quite a while. This is an antenna from Bridgecom Systems, and it is designed to go along with their, uh, let's see, it's the 578 the uh, mobile radio that they have that operates on 2 meters, 1.25 meters, and 70 centimeters. There are lots of uh, antennas available that will cover both 2 meters and 70 centimeters, but none out there that will cover 220 also, and that's what this is right here. Now, I've never had a mount for it. As you can see right here, the mount for it is a... Uh, PL259. So I've, I've never had the ability in the past to put it up on anything and although this looks like a bag from MFJ it's not. I found this on um, eBay and it is a mount that has the SO239 and a 5 inch mag mount here. So you can drive along pretty well without this. Now one of the problems with the Jeep here is that the top is not magnetic. It's just plastic. Okay, so what we're going to do on this and what I've had to do with the uh, dual bander is we're just going to put it right over here Okay, right there, and then we're going to put this right here. Now, right away, you will notice a problem. This is plenty sturdy, believe me. Okay, now the problem is if you hit something with it, you can easily bend it. So if you're going to be in a place like a parking garage or something, you can actually lift up on it and tilt it over so that it won't hit anything high, but that is not automatic. So if you get zapped with this thing, it will bend it. Okay, now we have 17 feet of coax, which is more than enough to go into uh, the Jeep. So what we're going to do first is take this into the Jeep and then we'll get in the Jeep and take um, SWR measures. Now I'm not going to worry about the routing of this too much. Uh, there is a way right here where you can go behind this panel and behind this panel into the cabin over here okay so let's try that and I'm going to get in on the other side with an SWR meter, okay? This is the Mini 1300, which I've covered in previous videos. So I'm gonna roll down some windows here. Whether the windows are up or not won't make any difference. Okay, now I'm going to get in. I want the Jeep keys. And we'll hook this to this and see what kind of reaction we're getting.
with your frequency sweep and we're going to pick tap well, that doesn't do any good okay so we're going to start out at 144 come on cancel cancel one four four zero zero okay let's do it this way two okay 144 plus two let's see what happens when we we scan it Scanning pretty straight across. Okay, there we go. We're under 2 to 1 across the entire uh, portion of the 2 meter band. Now, this is only the bottom half of the 2 meter band because that's the European uh, thing. Let's uh, set the, uh, let's see. Nope. One, four, okay, two meters we did. Let's look at 1.25 meters and do an okay on that and scan. Okay, what we have here is from 220, which is in here, to two, let's see, two, two, two to 225 is this range in here, and it is below two to one across the entire band. Okay, so that's good. That's the, it does work on 220. Now let's do 70 centimeters, okay. And scan that it only goes up to 440 but we'll see what we got here okay, it's scanning across and see we're under two to one across the entire band lowest about 430 we go up to 440 it gets up close to two to one but it looks like it might be let's see if we've got a way to add 10 megahertz and oh, that just adds it to that we'll do an okay and the scan okay this will get us up to the top of the american oh, 70 centimeter band and it goes up to two and then back down again uh, toward the top of the band so the antenna is working as designed sitting out there on the front of the uh, jeep and so i could take this anywhere and it just looks like another uh you know i've got my regular radio antenna there for the built-in radio and then that thing over there and it seems to work fine it's got good swrs now let me see Okay, there we go. Okay, so the bottom line here is that this antenna, which is given away by um, Bridgecom Systems, not given away, but it's bundled with some of their systems, although it's not available separately. The problem is finding a base for it. And so really what we're reviewing is this base right here and by grabbing here and pulling sideways it comes up very easily okay you do have to remember with this antenna if you're going to park put it over something like that so it doesn't hit the garage as it's going in and it's not flexible okay it'll withstand the wind but this base right here with the nice coaxial 17 foot cord on it uh, seems to work very well we checked and got good swrs on uh, two meters 
1.25 meters and 70 centimeters, 1.25 meters being the 222 to 225 um, megacycle band or 1.25 meters. Okay, so there you have it. We've got a, I've solved a problem that I've had for a while since they sent me this antenna. I've had no mount for it. So a couple weeks ago, I went on Amazon to see what I can find. And here you see the picture of what's available on Amazon. Um, I don't see a price on here, so you may have to get it from another vendor. But this was not very expensive. And uh, it gives you a good connection for uh, mobile type stuff. Of course, you can use this in a fixed location, but you need radials. The metal of the hood is acting as the radials right here. And in the bottom, were you to take this apart, there would be a large aluminum plate there that then um, put this thing on gently, clean the area before you put it on so it doesn't rub dust and grit into the thing. And that will work very well. You could put it up a little closer, but then this part is metal here and you're up against the metal uh, roll cage. But that might be the best place to put it if anybody gives you a problem about it. It will not go on top of the Jeep. It will go on top of your other cars, but then you've got to make sure you don't actually accidentally drive under something that will break that. Okay, it's not designed to be flexible. This is flexible. See? But uh, the other one is not. So, it works. There really is, if you go to Bridgecom Systems and you can get the bundle that's got the 578, which has the 220 band in it. This is the antenna they sell for it. You can put that unit in your car or Jeep or truck or whatever you want to do. And in many of the bundles, they have this antenna, but without the base, you can go on Amazon and find the base. So there you have it. If you would like to help support the channel, you can go to decastlercom support find a way that works for you. If you'd like to get in touch with me, um, if you're a patron, you can use the patron messaging system. Uh, otherwise, you can send it to askdave at arrl.org, uh, or you can send a uh, snail mail letter to Dave Kassler, KE0OG, uh, PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. And until we next meet, 73.